In this tutorial, we'll describe the main features of the Conservator window, which is a window in your browser. On the left, we have the menu pane, which lets you choose which kind of object to work with – projects, videos, images, or datasets. We can also find recently uploaded videos or items we have marked as favorites. Notice that All Videos is both a button and a pull-down menu. The pull-down menu contains the buttons My Videos, Shared With Me, and Uncategorized Videos. The latter are videos that aren't contained in any project. Images and datasets have the same submenus. The Projects button works a bit differently. Its submenu offers My Projects, Shared With Me, and All Projects. Each of these is, in turn, another pull-down menu providing access to a subset of All Projects. And these, in turn, are pull-down menus that show folders within a project. At the top is the navigation bar, in which you can search for projects, videos, images, or datasets by name or by other characteristics. The navigation bar also contains the Dashboard button, which shows conservator statistics, and the Settings button, which, among other things, displays user and group names and label names for objects. On the right side is the user menu, which shows your name and group and lets you open the help window or a support ticket in another browser tab. This menu also contains the sign out button. In the middle of the conservator window is the asset grid, where you can view a grid of thumbnails of the available projects, videos, images, or datasets. This area may also be viewed as a list. In the grid view, each asset is represented by a thumbnail that has an image in the background. Overlaying the image is status information showing the name, creation date, and owner. Newly uploaded videos are labeled with the phrase Generating Preview during the time that a background process is converting the video to presentation form. After the video becomes visible, another background task continues to process it, applying machine predictions to each image. If an error occurs during processing, the thumbnail will be labeled with the phrase Preview Unavailable, and Conservator will display a red exclamation point as an error symbol. Selecting the asset will allow you to read the diagnostic message. For videos and datasets, the numbers at the bottom of the thumbnail indicate the overall frame count, the number of manual annotations, and the number of machine predictions. Single images omit the frame count. The three dots on the right are a pull-down menu item that offers various actions depending on the asset. The colored bar corresponds to the portion of frames that are manually annotated, the green portion, manually marked empty, yellow, or not annotated, red. In the Actions pane on the right, you can choose an action to perform on the currently selected asset. You can also see various statistics. The commands in the Actions pane vary a great deal, depending on the type of object you have selected or opened. In general, this pane provides commands and information related to the selected object. Here we have a data set selected. One of the actions is to edit the details. This brings up a dialog box that lets us rename the data set, add tags that specify general characteristics of the data set, and specify the label set used for machine predictions. 
The name of the currently selected object is shown at the top of the Actions pane. Since this name may be too long to fit in the column, you can use your mouse to point to the name and see a black pop-up that shows the full name. If you'd like to copy the name of the currently selected object, click on Copy Text in the black pop-up. Two assets could have the same name, and an asset can be renamed. Neither of these statements is true for the asset's ID, which is unique and immutable. The ID is shown below the name. You can copy the ID in the same way that you would copy a name. This concludes our tour of the Conservator window. Other tutorials explain in detail how to use the window to work with projects, folders, videos, and datasets. Thank you.